The last thing you want to do is leave your dog in a hot car. But it happens more often than you think. People need to realize it's a serious problem. Just last week, two dogs were left in a car outside a movie theater in Atlanta. The window was left cracked, but officers on the scene determined the temperature inside the car was still an astounding 161 degrees. In another case, a man uses a boulder to rescue a dog. And here you see a man using a golf club to save an overheating pup. To show you just how serious this situation is and what you can do, Come on, guys. we enlisted the help of Robert Masiri, who's with an animal welfare group called the Guardians of Rescue. What are we seeing here? Right now, this inside temperature is 130 degrees in this car right now. It's 130 in there. 130 degrees. That would be deadly for an animal or human being. Under a controlled situation, Robert wanted to show us how the body reacts in a hot car. I'm sweating this out right now. For a dog that has to, to sweat through its, through its mouth um, and try to breathe at the same time is a recipe for disaster. Robert has some tips if you bring your pet out on a hot day. I encourage people to bring a second set of keys, keep the windows up, the air conditioning on. He also says lots of people forget that their smaller dogs are asleep in the back of the car. I encourage people to put a post-it on your dashboard, dog and car. A brick won't always break a window, but there's a device called the hot car escape tool that does the trick with a spring-loaded spike. But the bottom line, it's very simple. Don't leave your pets in a hot car.